All right, guys, so today we'll be um, repotting this four foot tall jade. Um, I pruned it a few weeks ago, um, but noticed that it still hasn't put out that much new growth yet. It's starting to sprout out, but um, you can definitely tell that the plant's not happy. Um, I suspect that, um, you know, there's some root issue. So we'll pull it out and, and see um, what we find, but uh, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that uh, the roots are not that great. So here we have it, pulled it out. Um, I'm doing this indoors. It's, I'm living in an apartment, so I don't really have a space to do it. Um, so indoors is the uh, best option. I uh, pruned and repotted my smaller ones in the shower, which uh, works for smaller plants, but um, this this is bigger, so it's not that great. So I'm just picking through the soil here, and, and you, right away I can tell this is not a uh, potting mix, even though there's a lot of perlite on top. The um, medium itself is um, dirt and not you know um, sphagnum peat moss so that's not good you can tell that it is quite um, it, it's it's not soggy it's wet but uh, it's not allowing the roots to breathe and then we're gonna find a lot of dead roots um, you know it's really black so um, when you don't get oxygen down there it's a you know good environment for anaerobic bacteria to grow um, and and you will get root rot. So the top here is super dry, has a lot of perlite, which I suspect this is um, added, was added to the, the plant later. Um, but yeah, it's really dry on top and it is um, very compact and hard at the bottom. So just uh, using a metal chopstick, I'm, I'm poking around just, uh, you know, um, tweezing the, um, is that, is that the term? Uh, just digging through the roots, getting, loosening up the soil, uh, getting the, uh, all the soil out of, uh, the roots in between the roots and just, um, trying to clean things up. So in my hand, it's just a huge clump of soil plus, um, uh, dead, dead roots. Uh, like I said, we're gonna, probably going to find a lot of those. It's not a matter of whether or not the roots are damaged, it's how much. Um, so we're going to continue to dig through here. Um, I found that some some spots were a lot harder than others. So, um, you know, water was not getting um, in there consistently. The tree showed signs of dehydration, which you will get with both um, overwatering and underwatering. The reason why you get dehydration with overwatering is because, you know, the, there's no roots. The roots will die uh, with overwatering and there's no roots left to to um, intake water for the plant. So it's going to appear, you know, it's going to look like it, it's dehydrated, which is true. And, but the mistake would be if you think it's dehydrated and then you go and give it more water. That's just kind of adding to the problem. Um, but yeah, I mean, dehydration, you can come back, um, pretty quick, but, uh, root rot, you, it's going to be very tough. I'm just showing you, uh, kind of the roots here. It's, it's black inside. It, it should be kind of a yellowish or, um, you know, white color uh, for healthy roots. A lot of these are going to be, um, even hollow and, and, and black in color, um, and so, you know, those, those are bad. You want to prune those back to kind of, um, the fresh roots and hopefully we get some new growth. Yeah. So continuing to poke through, um, I'm just pulling on some of these roots gently. Um, the roots are even healthy roots are kind of crispy, um, very brittle, but the, um, bad roots are, they just come off like just super easy. So see, just pulling on that. Um, this one I'm showing you guys, that one's actually hollow, which means it's been dead for a while. And, and, and then, um, you know, the, the soil was dry, so it, it kind of dried out. So if it was continually wet, it would be kind of, um, black and, um, uh, soft and soggy. So I suspect that, um, you know, what might have happened was the soil kind of, um, so the dirt, I'm going to call it dirt, dried out. And, you know, 
the myth with jades and succulents is that they prefer to be on the dry side, which is somewhat true, but not completely accurate. All plants like to have moist roots. Um, but the reason people say that, you know, they prefer to be dry is because you can keep them alive a lot easier that way. They, they won't thrive being dry all the time, but they won't die and, and um, you know, they, they come back easily once they get some water and they'll put out some new roots and they'll be happy for a while. And then they'll go into survival mode again um, because, you know, you don't give them water, they dry out. But if you overwater them, you know, bacteria gets into the trunk, it, it you know, um, it starts going up the trunk and killing the plant. So and that's why people say that, but it's not true. All plants like to be, have moist roots. And people, a lot of people also don't know that roots aren't just for, um, you know, absorbing water. It's also for, to help them breathe. So here is, um, we're done with it. There's, you, as you can see, there's nothing left. I mean, it's just a stump. Um, so kind of, kind of disappointing, but I'm um, glad we caught this uh, at this point in time. Um, here you can see, um, you know, what it looks like on the other side. I've come to contemplated um, just cutting, you know, where the blue line is to, to get um, new roots to grow and get a wider trunk. But, um, and then the red area is actually where um, a root had grown across. And that's why it's kind of sunken in because they didn't allow the, the trunk to grow. This is kind of dangerous, not as dangerous because it was low, but um, it was up uh, higher. It, it could cause um, damage to the plant. But here's what it looks like afterwards. I was just holding it in my hand. Um, and then, you know, repotting it, I had to use some bungee cords just to make sure that it doesn't tip over because there's no roots to be, uh, to hold it down. Um, potting mix, I used indoor potting mix and mixed in some extra perlite. Um, I didn't water it at all. I'm just gonna let it sit there for a week or two and then I'm gonna water it afterwards. Um, but that's the finished product. Uh, good thing we caught it, uh, now, uh, very early on. I mean, I just got this maybe a month ago, so. Um, that's why you always pay attention to plants. It, it, it'll communicate to you whether it's uh, happy or not. So um, just make sure you, you are vigilant and uh, keep an eye on your plants. But um, that's the finished product. And I'll give you guys an update um, in a month or so to see if it puts out some um, new growth.